Hello, I'm David from Sail Tahiti. Welcome on board Be Happy. Be Happy is a Nexus 11 from 2024, but it's fully equipped and she's ready for you in Tahiti. So Be Happy is uh, it's the first of our certified pre-owned because it's a boat that we've prepared with Silvano and Tony, uh, her owner. We've prepared her in France out of the factory for their crossing to Tahiti uh, was the adventure of their lifetime. Now for family reason, they need to unfortunately sell the boat, but from the start, we followed all the maintenance and all the equipment that went on board. So I can safely say that Be Happy is the, probably the best equipped XS11 ever. To give you some example, there's uh, almost 3000 watt of solar panels, 1300 amps hour of lithium, two Victron inverter. The whole system is Victron. So she's got a full, uh, full autonomy in terms of electricity, in terms of water as well. There's a 105 liters water maker, but there's also a spare uh, Catadine survival water maker. In any condition, uh, you can make water. The safety on this boat has been uh, thought in every detail. Just to give you some examples of the things we did, you've got automatic fire extinguisher in the engine's room, which is something you find on big boat, but usually not on uh, pleasure catamarans. Uh, there's an SSB radio, you can see the, the big antenna, uh, plus the Iridium uh, and the Starlink. So in terms of communication, wherever you are on the planet or on the ocean, you can always uh, reach your family or walk from the boat. She's very safe thanks to her layout. Uh, you don't have to climb on the flybridge to do any maneuvers. Everything comes back to the helm station. And here you're fully protected because you've got the seats in your back uh, and you've got the shed here. So if you're in cold climate, uh, you can close that. It's transparent, it's, uh, it's plastic. As the uh, pulse line uh, rigging, which is the performance rigging with a taller mast, bigger sail, and she's got a large code zero. So she's really a boat that's made for you if you like sailing. So you retain the view on your sail, on your boat, but you're fully protected and you're just one step away from uh, the main cockpit. Uh, it's a big, big element in terms of safety because that means if you've got kids with you on the boat, or elderly or whoever, the person that's helming the boat is the one that's the most at the back of the boat. So it's not like a flybridge where you don't know what people are doing underneath you or in your back. Here, when you're helming the boat, you've got the complete view on your crew. So it's better for safety, but it's also better if you want to talk with your guest, with your friend. You can be having lunch and still be part of the action. The XS11, it's really a boat that's uh, fun to sail. I mean, as soon as you climb on the boat, you've got this desire to go sailing, to go offshore, because she's so fun to steer from uh, the helm position, and she's got a very good balance. Uh, first thing you notice is that the boom is very low. It means your center of, of, of sail is low, which is better for performance. It limits pitching as well. So it makes for a more comfortable ride and higher speed. And it's also very practical. It's when you want to take reef, and you know I'm a pretty short guy, uh, 1 meter 65, but here I can access my boom to take my reef uh, or to fold down the mainsail very easily. Uh, you've got these stairs that are very wide, so it's really it's a safe position here. You can see the huge array of uh, solar panels um, we installed. Uh, back in France, they are Solara, which is the, the best brand by far for uh, flexible solar panels. They are, uh, they are made in Germany, so it's really top quality. Of course, you can, you can work on them. So, I mean, the fact to have so much power doesn't prevent you to still be on a boat that is very easy to maneuver. The Happy has a really complete electronic setup. So it's all Garmin with uh, the radar, the AIS, uh, the VHF, obviously. But what's really specific about this boat is we've got a 12 inch screen here, plus a GMI 20. On port, uh, a nine inch screen plus a GMI 20. And inside we have another chart plotter. 
So that's really three different position from which you can access all the info on the boat, the chart, and also the autopilot. And that's really unique. I mean, as a, as a factory, uh, you normally come with a seven inch screen. Uh, you've got the option to get the 12 inch, but this setup with a 12 inch here, a nine inch on top, nine inch inside, no other XS11 has so many screens. So that's really practical when you're sailing short-handed, whether the weather is nice or bad, you always have a position to steer your boat where you are fully protected from the elements. So this setup is a mix between the design of the XS11 and the specific electronics we put uh, with Silvano and Tony on Be Happy. It makes it a really comfortable boat for long passages because obviously when you want to maneuver if you're taking a reef or if you're trimming yourself, you're going to come here but you're protected. If it's raining, you just close around, you're protected from the sun. And then during the rest of your watch, you can be sitting inside. You've got your chart plotter and the, the pilot control on the chart plotter. Or you can be sitting in the cockpit. You protect it from the rain with the, with the transparent canvas. And you're just one step away from the helm and the winch. You notice that on the XS11, all the ropes come on the starboard winch. Except for the Code Zero halyard, which is on port. And she's got two electric winch. So again, she's a boat that's both fast and fun, but also very easy to maneuver short-handed. Inside, uh, the Happy has all of the advantages of the XS11. So it's a very modern design, very bright. You've got lights all around, a 360 uh, view. But she really has all the small finish touch we, we put in her to make her really one of the best XS11. For example, uh, we've got the Korean uh, countertop in the kitchen and the bathroom. We've got a lot of small add-ons like here. We created an opening because normally, you know, you, you have to access from the top. It is not practical when somebody is sitting here and you want to be cooking and you want to access if you've got the rice or the pasta or whatever underneath you have to ask the people to stand up all the time which seems nothing big but on a long passage it kind of becomes tiring so having a door here makes it much easier so there's plenty of little details in be happy which make her uh, really unique and obviously there's her general setup so one thing you notice is she's got an aircon that's a special um, option created by Cell Tahiti. Cess doesn't offer the aircon on the XS11. This boat is not really made to have a genset because you want to keep the weight low. Uh, but to run the aircon, you need a lot of power. And because she's got 1300 amps of lithium and 3000 watt of solar, we can run a small aircon unit. Other comfort element is to have a fridge here, you know, with the, the front opening. And next to it, you've got a freezer. And we added, see downstairs, a domestic cooler. So that's three different uh, cold storage. You've got uh, the Aquabase uh, remote control for the water maker. So the water maker is in uh, one of the engine's room, but you can control it from here. This is uh, the, the servo from uh, Vactron, which shows you all the details about your battery. You can see your state of charge. So right now we have charged 100%. You can see what's coming from the solar panel. That's the inverter uh, to create the 220. And we have two on this boat, which is very, uh, very a specific point about be happy so there's two times 500 5000 watt inverter which means you can run any kind of domestic appliances at the same time but it also gives you redundancy so if you've got one that doesn't work anymore it's okay you still have your your 220. be happy is uh, an honors version i don't know if you've seen the honors cabin in the xs11 that's pretty impressive uh, for a 38 feet catamaran, you've got a huge amount of space. So let's come and have a look. So here you've got first you've got this uh, office uh, space with lots of storage. So you've got storage here, 
storage here, a wardrobe, storage here. I like to put tools here, it's very practical. You've got the domestic cooler, so it does fridge or freezer, works on 220 or 12 volts, so it's very practical. You can see that uh, you have this huge bed. The bed is two meters in each direction, so it's unheard of on a catamaran below 45 feet. You've got again storage here, you've got storage here under the bed, a huge storage. Uh, you've got slated buff, uh, again, it's an option for more comfort. It's really uh, exceptional. Is here you've got the automatic uh, fire extinguisher system. So if there's smoke uh, coming in the boat, then you can automatically start the fire extinguisher. It's like on a, on a very big boat. So again, a lot of safety came into the design of Be Happy. So here's the, the bathroom. It's very nice. It's lovely when you're at sea because you get this window. Uh, from here, I can see uh, Papete Harbor and the lagoon. So when you're having your shower or you're brushing your teeth and so on, you get all this light. Uh, it's, a, it's a very nice place. One of the special design Tony and Silvano asked her to do for VXS was to have this uh, mirror. On any boat, you never find a mirror that's like full, full length, right? So I guess if you want to dress well and, and look good, here you can see yourself from the bottom to the top. You've got huge storage in the in the bathroom uh, you've got a full wardrobe here really a lot of space really practical and fantastic to to leave aboard the sea so that's the port aft cabin uh, and underneath the bed again there's a huge amount of storage silvano uses it for all the spares and tools and i've never seen a catamaran with so many spares for any situation that's a bosom's chair of course but you, you have a spare a bilge pump which is already wired with a pipe so if you've got an emergency you can get a lot of water out of the boat you've got that's a sail repair kit that's general tools drills here underneath you've got all the spares for the engine so spare alternator spare engine starter really she, she, she's complete and she can go sailing long distance uh, in any kind of remote place you have everything you need uh, should anything happen the forward port cabin is very spacious as well so for your guests uh, or for the kids it's a, it's a fantastic cabin again you've got a great view on the sea a lot of air a lot of light uh, and storage everywhere in this cabin so big wardrobe here or storage here you've got storage as well here so it's really everywhere and one of the hallmark of the xs11 is uh, how airy she feels. Um, this one, Be Happy, has the honey tick and white lacquered interior. So you can see there's a lot of uh, white and light wood, uh, which makes it really, really nice in the hot climate. Um, you get this sensation of uh, luminosity and clarity, which is unique. So Silvano, uh, what made you choose the XS11 for your selling project? To be honest, you know, uh, you were the most responsive and the most serious guy when I was trying to contact dealer okay. for <laughs> locating sure, yeah. a boat. <laughs> it had a great impact. But also, you know, I think it's the design of XS11 is a new design, it's very sporty, it's very comfortable, but it has also, it's also a fast boat, it's a boat that likes to sail. So I think it was a good compromise. And what was your, your best moment at sea? Well, you know... Oh, may, many best moments. It, it's, a long, it's a long journey, you know. We sailed 10,500 nautical miles. It was 111 days. And of course, you know, crossing the Panama Canal is always is again interesting. But also the wildlife, you know, having the dolphin playing long time with the boat and many other animals. But probably the best at all was we were between Panama and the Galapagos and we were approached by Ecuadorian uh, sail, um, fishermen yeah. and they were running short of oil so we asked if we had some spare oil that we can spare with them, we did and they gave us a big piece of uh, fish 
And that night we had fish in San Moridio. It was really good. And these people were so nice. It was a very nice experience. <laughs> Excellent. So cooking at sea on the XS11 was a, was a great part of the experience. Yeah. Uh, cooking at sea is fine, of course, you know, when the sea is really big, you need to be careful, yeah. as always. Uh, we also had one of these uh, cooker that was an electric cooker, and we used that when the sea was uh, more important. And since the boat has so much electric power, it was okay to use the cooker, and that was much more safe you know, during, during big sea. You have a, a career in uh, in information technology, so uh, we true. put with you a lot of, of systems in the boat. What's the, the thing you're the most proud of? Well, the communication, I think, on this boat is really uh, important. When I started to study this, I decided to embrace the architecture of Predict Wind. And Predict Wind has this device which is called Data App, it is installed in the electronic bay that basically interface Starlink, it interface Iridium, it interface all the Garmin avion, uh, all the Garmin electronic, and create a single point of reference. It provides data to all your phone, it provides data to all your laptop, it provides position, AES information, etc. It uploads position and AES information uh, always so your friend can follow you. And it also dynamically computes the polar curve of the boat, and so if you have an avionic on your iPad, yeah. or, uh, when you calculate compute a route, it takes into consideration the real polar curve of this boat and doesn't take into consideration a generic curve of an axis. It's really interesting and that shows how uh, technology is changing the world of sailing. Uh, it's the kind of thing measuring real uh, polar curve that used to be done only on professional racing boats. Uh, and now we've got the technology to do it on a, on a cruising catamaran, so it's pretty pretty exciting. Yeah, I mean, for the crossing I had an experience, a skipper with me, but it was sort of a bit of old school and he had never used this and he was really amazed and it said, uh, you know, when we started one time we had just a few weather charts when we were in port and then for 10 days, 15 days we had no yeah. update. Now basically we have update continue. And, and what in terms of... of uh, Pure sailing. What was the best, uh, the best moment? In which part of the of the ocean did you have the best speed or the best fun? There was probably in the moment we were doing um, from Tenerife the Can Canary to Cape Verde, the wind was really at the right angle. You know, it was constant and really at the right angle. You know, we had like a ninety degree wind. Yeah, and with the cold zero depth. Really, the performance was really fantastic. It was also super, super smooth. But I must admit that when we did the Pacific, the wind was 140, 150 degrees. It was almost down. But we managed to have the Cod Zero fully deployed with the main sail on Butterfly on Reef 1 that helps keep the Cod Zero inflated. And that configuration worked very well. And we almost kept it stable for 23 days. Yeah. The time it took yeah. to cross yeah. the Pacific. Well, thanks a lot, Silvano. You're very welcome, David. Yeah.